Hey, uh, my name is Bi Byung Nam, Asian Medical Center, Seoul, Korea. I am very uh, delighted to uh, be invited to this Red Cliff uh, discussion for our study of EPIC CAD trial. I am Min Soo from the same center. I am the first author of the manu manuscript. And I am also thankful uh, Red Cliff for the, uh, make this uh, great discussion. The importance of our trial is the, uh, to add uh, more evidence to uh, current evidence of uh, the optimal antithrombotic treatment in patients with uh, atrial fibrillation and prior artery disease. Uh, there are some uh, definite guidelines uh, for these patients, but the real practice is a little bit uh, divergent from the uh, guideline, and that is the uh, the strong or solid evidence is not uh, yet, so uh, our study will add to the pre-existing uh, evidence uh, to make it more uh, stronger. Uh, we try to include uh, those patients with the most high-risk atrial fibrillation, namely chest vessel score over two, uh, two or more, and uh, those patients underwent revascularization. Uh, for the revascularization patients, they were included after six months after revascularization in setting up chronic coronary syndrome and uh, 12 months after acute coronary syndrome. And uh, we uh, just minimized the exclusion criteria to ignore patients with the diverse characteristics. And the key exclusion criteria are the, uh, those with the not suitable for the adoxalan treatment such as uh, mechanical valve or the mitral stenosis, and those with extreme high risk of bleeding, including the pri previous intracranial hemorrhage. The pr primary outcome of the current study is the neck adverse clinical event, which is composite of the mortality, uh, stroke, myocardial uh, infarction, uh, systemic embolism, unplanned urgent re revascularization, and uh, major and clinically relevant non-major bleeding. And the uh, key secondary outcomes included the uh, uh, major ischemic events and the uh, composite of the major and the clinically relevant non-major bleeding. Uh, we included uh, 1,040 patients and they were randomized one-to-one -one fashion to the monotherapy group and the antithrombotic therapy group. The, the mean age of overall patient was uh, 72 years old and the uh, male predominance at uh, 77% and the mean chest to basket score was 4.3 and the mean has to blood score was 2.2. And 60% uh, of the patient underwent the previous uh, percutaneous coronary intervention and 8% underwent the bypass grafting and rest of the patient uh, take uh, medical treatment. The key finding was the uh as uh, previously, previously said, the key uh, primary outcome was uh, the composite of uh, many ischemic and bleeding events. And the overall uh, composite outcome occurred in uh, the dual therapy group in 16.2% uh, uh, and in monotherapy group 6.8%, uh, uh, a huge difference. And the P uh, value was uh, zero, uh, below 0 0.001. Hazard ratio was uh, 0.44, about 55% uh, reduction in the uh, overall uh, outcome. Yeah, we conducted a classified uh, subgroup analysis according to the age, sex, or the renal function, type of last reverse colorization, chat to pass score, and has class score. And all, there is no significant interaction in any of the subgroups. So, all groups uh, significantly favors the adoxaban monotherapy. We also conducted the ad hoc, uh, I'm sorry, post hoc uh, subgroup analysis, including the experience pre of previous antithrombotic therapy or the appropriateness of the adoxaban dosing and the type of uh, antiplatelets, and there is also no significant interactions. So, all the subgroup analysis favors the uh, adoxaban monotherapy group. Uh, compared to the pure antithrombotic therapy. The conclusion is uh, in patients with uh, atrial fibrillation and concomitant coronary artery disease, 
the uh, that uh, adverse clinical event of bleeding and ischemic events were significantly lower in the uh, among patients with uh, uh, a or therapy group compared with the dual antiparietal uh, treatment group. So uh, this conclusion will uh, surely guide all the uh, physicians, clinicians to optimize their uh, antithrombotic uh, strategy for those patients. As of the two previous trials, such as OAC alone trial or the fire trial, Epixate is not designed to find out the, uh, find out the difference in the ischemic events. That is the major limitation. But the number of the patients required for such uh, get, find out the difference in the ischemic events uh, requires so numerous. Uh, size of the study, so it's not unrealistic. So we need more data. More data on this field should be accumulated to make us some more robust uh, evidence. And uh, another thing we found, uh, we see that the initial initiation of the factor 11 inhibitors uh, in, the, in this session of the ES meeting, so the, the implications to factor 11 inhibitors in the coronary disease or those with AFib coronary disease, is it better than the NOAC, or the, is it, uh, uh, what is the uh, outcomes after those combination with the antithrombotics? Uh, we need more data on the focusing on the, this brand new uh, agent.